you're making uh, dreams come true for your fans and yeah. families. How does it feel? No, this, this is fun. I love, I've never really done uh, things like this uh, for promoting a movie, so it, it, you know it's fun to get out. And uh, you know, I started with this social media about a year ago, so I'm enjoying that closer uh, touch to the fans. It's really different now than it was you know, 10 years ago going out on, on a movie tour. So, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying, enjoying experimenting, interacting in a different way. The original movie came out in 92. When you, Trey was born that year. No, it's crazy, right? Can you remember telling, uh, taking your kids to the movie and showing your kids the movie? You know, I think this one was at home. I, we, I don't think that we did this one in the in the in the movie theater. So this was a, a home movie. But it was uh, that that Disney magic is real. It, it's like they talk about it all the time. But I, this is my first Disney film and being inside of it and that energy and the ideas and everything. There really is. Um, a, a powerful emotional core to uh, these movies that's really rare and unique. I've got to ask you just quickly about Robin Williams. Of yeah. course, he is a, a yeah. legend. Have you used any of his original genie in what your take on the genie? Yeah, you know, I've, I've watched the movie probably about 10 times. Um, you know, uh, as, a, as an actor, I'm always looking for what would I do different? Is there anything that I could add to it? I ask myself, but, you know, where is there still some meat on the bone? Um, and the big thing for me was the uh, going to live action. I felt like there would be a different flavor going that way. And then uh, I was really inspired by what I would do with the music. And that's how I felt that I would be able to, to uh, you know, still move in a, in a way that was uh, nostalgically representative and, and really hitting those same chords, but also to be able to put my own signature.